Hey guys, welcome to this video. So today I have a really big kind of spring summer haul for you guys. Over the past couple of months, I've just been gradually like accumulating a lot of stuff in my closet. And I feel like part of it is like when I hit like my mid twenties, like 25, my entire style just kind of switched up. So now my style for spring and summer is really different from how it was like when I was in my earlier twenties and when I was in college. So. I have a lot of stuff to show you guys, so I'm gonna keep this intro really short. Um, but I'm really excited to let you guys see what I got. And I think I am going to first start off with the biggest section, which is pants and bottoms. Okay, so first up, I have are a couple of pairs of jeans. To be honest, I don't really know why I got all these jeans because in Texas, spring and summer is so hot that I never really gravitate towards jeans and stuff this summer. But um, a lot of these, I got them in really nice like spring summer shades and I think, you know, I'm never really outside very much. I'm not much of an outside girl. So I thought that they would be really nice to wear like inside cafes and stuff and still act like I don't live like in a desert. So I got two pairs of jeans from a Goldie. I feel like I've just been slowly replacing like my cheaper Forever 21 jeans that I've like completely worn through with a Goldie and Levi's jeans recently. So I got these two pairs um i got the nico high rise like kind of skinny jean it's more like a slim fit and then this one is the 90s mid rise like high loose like straight so this mid rise on me actually fits more like a high rise and it's kind of like the perfect like mom straight jean that i've always been looking for and they're actually not that stiff of a denim they're pretty soft you can see like it has some distressing on it and i feel like the distressing helps these jeans not be so like formal and stuffy looking i am the kind of person who actually really likes the button closure on a lot of jeans even though sometimes when my nails are really long it gets difficult to close but for some reason i just feel like button closures make things feel a little bit more expensive i don't know and then the next pair of goldie jeans i got the nico high rise slim fit so i gained weight recently so my old pair of reformation skinny jeans which i absolutely love i can't even like zip and like button them anymore so i got these as kind of like a replacement because i highly doubt i'm actually going to fit into those reformation jeans ever again and i really really love these so these also have some distressing at the bottom around the ankle and then they are so so high rise and they have a decent amount of stretch to them but the denim still feels like a medium weight it still feels quality and so i i don't know i just really like these and again the button closures i love and then the final pair of jeans that i got are rollas so i had actually never heard of rollas before but I got these from Vera Shop, and I really liked the kind of like pocket detailing. I really like the medium wash, and I've been kind of looking for a nice like medium wash straight leg pant. And honestly, I think this is more for like early spring that's already kind of passed, but also for like fall and winter so i'm really glad i got these it's so high rise and it makes my butt look really nice i think it's like something about the way that the pockets are cut okay so now i'm going to move on to like trouser pants and stuff i'm gonna go by color there's like an embarrassing amount of beige pants i don't know how many pairs of beige pants one person can have i don't know it's just too many but here's the stack so I'm gonna make my way um, slowly through them. First one I got, these are just kind of like classic. You're, you see them everywhere. These are the Zara like high rise trousers. And I really like the detail they put in the back like this. It, they kind of remind me like of like horse racing jockey pants almost for some reason. And I really like the darting here. Um, around the waist. I feel like it really like cinches the waist together. I think this is a nice really really casual pant And it's actually surprising not see-through now this next pant. Um, I have it from H&M. It's like a boot cut It says regular waist um, kind of boot cut 
flare jean i bought this more so for casual wear as well i've been looking for like a nice light flared pant and these are actually they fit me um like as a high rise and i really really liked the crease in the front i feel like it just makes it look really smart and it has this like hook and zipper and button so it's really nice the waistband also stretches and it's not sheer which is the important part and the pockets are really nice like diagonal pockets and they're real so i really like the fit of these how they kind of like hug my hips and then they're a little bit like slim through the rest of the leg and then they flare at the bottom so i think they're a nice like almost kind of dressy casual pant i also got these um in the navy blue as well so i'll just show them now again these fit me high rise but I thought these I could definitely wear to work. They have a little bit of a flare to the bottom. They kind of remind me of the Uniqlo, like easy ankle boot flare, but a little bit longer. So that's why I really like these. And it's a nice, like, I don't know if you can hear it. It sounds stiff, but it's really not. It's like a nice, nicely weighted, nice hand feel kind of material. So I have a couple of linen blend beige pants i feel like some people think it's like a little bit of a finickier fabric which i you know in some ways i agree because it does wrinkle really easily and you would have to steam these like you can't wear them fresh out of a package but i never really wear my clothes like fresh out from unpacking them anyways i usually wash them first and then i like steam or iron them so I'm personally not too bothered by it and I really like the breathability and I really like the hand feel of linen too. I really like the linen that the H&M Premium line has. So this one is like a medium beige linen pant. What sets this pair of pants off um, from the other pairs is that it has cuffed seams. And I really, really like that. I feel like it gives it maybe like a little bit of a safari vibe, but these, I think they are actually out of stock right now but if they ever do come back in stock, I just need to let you guys know that these actually run large. I know H&M pants for me always run a size or two small, but these definitely run a size large. So I would size down if they ever come back in stock. Moving on to the next linen blend. It is this beautiful pair. It's like a more of a heathered beige. So if you look at the beige coloring, there's some more texture in it and there's different tones of like white and cream beige which i know that sounds kind of stupid like oh it's different tones it's still beige but i really love the cut and the fit of these they are more of a slim fit but it's not so clingy that you can't wear it during the summer which is definitely what i look for in a lot of pants because it just gets so hot here and then it has a stretchy waist waistband so all right on to the next these are an absolutely beautiful pair of wide leg linen blend pants with a crease down the front they are just so amazing i love wide leg and the shade of brown is just absolutely beautiful i think it looks pretty good with my skin tone as well i feel like i could transition this even into fall if i really wanted to with a cardigan on top so this i feel like is really really versatile and i love the shade of brown and i really like the like wooden pocket too the next pair, the next pair of beige pants um is this pair i think this is such a beautiful wide leg pant of course it has the pleats in the front that i absolutely love and it's cuffed at the bottom which i really really like but what i feel like i like most about this pair are the pockets they're not real on the back, but there are these wonderful like flaps over it. And I feel like it just gives it a really nice, like not edge, but um, a surprise that sets it apart from different pants. And I love the texture of the fabric. If you guys can see, it has like, I don't know, it's not really heathering, but there's just texture to it that makes it more interesting. It's not just a flat fabric. So I really, really like that about these pants. <gasps> Done with pants. All right, next I'm going to do tops. 
So what I first got um, was another one of these bodysuits from Everlane. I really like the little v-neck. I think it's just nice for, it's like one of those like ballet um, bodysuits. Not much to say about this one except for the fact that I just really love it. I have it in white and also the peppercorn color. And even though white is not see-through at all, I think because these are really thick and I think the white was actually even double lined. So Everlane just puts a lot of thought into their products and I just, I really, really like this. And then also from Everlane, I just got one of their classic like cutaway rib tanks. You can never have too many of these. I actually have been <laughs> struggling to find a nice one in black for some reason. It's just been hard for me to find like a nice one that fit and had the correct cut. So I just picked that one up during their sale. And then of course, of course, some color in my wardrobe. I'm just so excited to wear this. I feel like this blue is absolutely beautiful. It's going to look really good with like white wash jean shorts or just jeans beneath it. It'll look really good with white shorts. Like these, this tank, I think is just so, so beautiful. I love it. And then a, another tank that I got, this one is from Koss. It's just a really simple like v-neck navy silk number. This is, I think it's in mulberry silk. It's a wonderful quality and it has like a second shelf lining on the inside, which is really, really great. So it's just a nice little basic to have and I love the sheen of it. And then I got this little like basic v-neck tank. I used to fit into the Brandy Melville like v-neck tanks. Obviously now I don't, my boobs are kind of like almost spilling out of them whenever I wear them so I got this as kind of like an alternative and replacement and I just really like the stitching around the chest area. I think it it's just really nice and unique and gives them some kind of shape and so yeah, I just really like it. And then in one of my previous vlogs, I mentioned that I absolutely love the Pima Cotton t-shirt from H&M. I got two more, okay? I got a backup in a size small just in case, you know, it's like an off-whitish cream in case I get something on it and you know it gets stained. And then I got a size down, I got the extra small just for a more fitted look that was less oversized. So. I definitely stocked up on those. So if you guys ever see that t-shirt come back in stock, even for a second, grab it, okay? Because it is the perfect white t-shirt. I love it. Now this next white t-shirt, it is 100% linen. I love these. Um, I think it is a beautiful, lightweight, like breathable, toss this on and you just have an outfit kind of shirt. Um, I love, love, love this linen shirt. It kind of is the same thing as the Pima Cotton one, definitely size down. This is the size small, but it is a beautiful, breathable linen. Well, even now, just holding onto it, it feels cooler on my skin than the cotton. So I love linen for spring and summer, especially here in Texas where it's just so, so hot. And then some more color in my wardrobe. So I... You guys are gonna think I'm so crazy, but I got two different shades of blue and like these oversized shirts. I could not decide whether or not to like return one of these or like keep one. That was the reason why I bought it. I was going to only keep one, but I love both shades of blue. Like this one has like a little bit, it's like obviously a little paler, but more of like a green undertone where this one is definitely more like a blue undertone. It's a little bit warmer than this one, so. But this one, um, the fabric is a little bit thicker and it does run a little bit bigger. This is the extra small. Recently, I've really been loving like the menswear kind of feel for things. So I think this is gonna be really cute with like jean shorts underneath that are a shade lighter and or like white shorts or anything. And it's just gonna be super cute to like throw on top of something, even on top of any of the linen pants. Like I think it's just gonna be a really, really cute look. And then same thing for this one. I mean, they honestly both kind of serve the same purpose. Um, this one is a little bit lighter weight and this one is a size small. 
but I just, I don't know, I really love it. I think either one of these I could also wear kind of later on during the fall underneath like a navy sweater with just the collar kind of popping out. So I, I just decided to keep both, I love both. Now to less exciting, you know, less color eye-catching kind of looks, this oversized linen. I mean, I've just been really into wearing shirts as a shirt jacket, so that is definitely the reason why I got this one. But I feel like um, also because of the hem, it has like that dolphin hem, so it's really easy to French tuck and also do the half tuck look without looking messy. So love, love, love this. Super oversized. I sized down. Highly recommend doing that. But again, it's a beautiful linen. Oh my gosh, okay. Almost done, you guys. So now... Moving away from that, um, I got one dress recently. I got it from Anthropology. It is a beautiful white dress, but you can see around the waist, there's like a cutout um, and it kind of crisscrosses in the front as well. And then there's a tie around it. And it's actually not, the cutouts aren't so showy. And that's the only reason why I kept it because I feel like certain cutout dresses, they can look not the best, the cutouts look kind of random and it's like why are the cutouts even there but love this and it's white but it's fully lined so it's not sheer like i think it's a beautiful beautiful dress and i love the cut of it and i feel like it's just the cutouts they're placed in such a strategic way that it really cinches the waist so love this now the next final couple of items are just some bottoms i'm going to go through really really quick First is this wonderful navy pleated skirt from H&M. I feel like it's almost like an Aritzia dupe, but it is a beautiful chiffon. The only small, small gripe that I have is the material, um, if you can tell, between this part and the waistband, it's different. So they didn't use chiffon to wrap around the waistband, but it, the color and the ribbing that they did on the waistband makes it all kind of blend in, so that's totally fine. But I love how there's like these micro pleats and then it gets bigger at the bottom. So even in my hand, you can tell it like is very swingy and it's almost completely fully lined. So I just can imagine like twirling around in this and it's going to be super, super cute. Finally, some shorter things. Silk shorts, H&M, can't go wrong love the hidden pockets on the side and i actually really like the texture you guys can see it's like a little dimpled so i think it's super interesting i always love their cut of shorts like this high rise and like not like sh booty short short but i really like the silk of these two it's unlined but because of the color you can't even see through you know like the pocket lining is kind of here and then the rest of here you can't even like really tell that it's unlined so i think this would also transition really well into the fall and then finally, I feel like Zara always comes out with really, really cute bottoms every summer. So I think a couple of years ago, it was like the envelope shorts or like the envelope skorts that were always really in. And now they've kind of like changed it to these skorts. And Zara's the skort game is always killing it. So, you know, the, this is a skort. Obviously, you can tell there's like some shorts in the back. But... I have been looking and looking and looking for a skirt that was like the slit in the front because Reformation has such a cute like little mini skirt that has a slit but it's just so short on me that I I can't wear it but this because I feel safe because it has shorts underneath I am definitely super excited to wear it and it has a cute detail on the side this like little stripe so I think it's super super cute and I'm super excited about wearing this and then essentially exactly the same thing but in white the only difference here between this one and that one is the slit here is actually covered which i don't mind because white is usually pretty sheer so i don't mind they put like an extra panel and an extra layer underneath so that it's not sheer um but anyways super super cute all right guys finally the last couple of things shoes so I got these really cute scrunch flats from Everlane um, during their sale to a really soft leather, but I do have a couple of complaints. They are honestly pretty slippery. I didn't look into it as deeply as I thought I would, but if you can see, like I'll get the light on it, 
the bottoms are completely smooth and I honestly think that's like really dangerous so I'm definitely going to be sticking things onto it because these were final sale and I think that's honestly a pretty big design flaw I bought these so that I wouldn't be wearing like my white bands all the time to kind of have like a more feminine like alternative to that um, I think that these run true to size and length but they do run a little bit narrow so just kind of to put that out there and then the final thing that I wanted to show you guys it's not it's not necessarily for the spring summer but I just wanted to show it off because I'm so excited black leather converse high tops I love these so these aren't like the all-stars these are the Chuck 70s so the leather the rubber part and then these laces are not like a stark white they're more um, of off-white cream and they're a little bit shinier but i absolutely love these i feel like i avoided high tops for such a long time because i felt like they really cut my legs off at an awkward length but these are going to be so 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 cute for fall not spring summer which is what this video is for but i was just so excited about these that i just really wanted to show you guys anyway Thank you guys so much for sticking through to the end. Um, I got so much stuff for spring and summer, um, but it's just kind of one of my favorite seasons because linen is one of my favorite like fabrics and there's just so much linen around now and I just love white and beiges. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. Sorry if it was so, so, so fast and I felt like I was talking like a billion words a minute, but I just was so excited to show you guys all of these. I'm really glad that we made it through. Um, but anyways, I'm really looking forward to wearing all of these and let me know what you guys really liked from the haul and if you guys have any thoughts about what I got. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!